right, so welcome everybody. This is the Coach's Corner with Coach Emma and Coach Matt is joining me today. Um, super exciting stuff because this is our first ever really podcast conversation with the team. So we're going to be talking about different topics um, each week or so. Um, and today we want to talk about kind of where we started, it's like where it all began, which is very interesting because I'm excited. I haven't heard Matt's story before. So I kind of want to start with Matt and I want to hear like where, where did fitness start for you? Well, I remember when I was a child, uh, I'm just kidding, but uh, I, I think it's, it, it has been like since the very beginning when I was a child and, you know, later in life has kind of gotten into more of a career. Uh, that's kind of its, its, its own story or own leg of the story, I suppose. Um, but since very, very early age, um, I was very active in sports. Um, my, my dad was a multiple sport athlete. Um, and me and my brothers, we were, we were raised playing baseball, uh, we're big Cubs fans. We were from Chicago originally. Um, so I started playing T-ball when I was like four years old and played baseball for, for years and years. And that was kind of the, the bond that I had with my brothers and my, my dad, and my parents. Um, and then like lost rec ball, my mom was always the team mom. So every, every Saturday, um, we were always at the baseball fields, um, and between, the three of us, I mean, there was always some event, some tournament, some something going on. Um, over the years, I played a number of different sports, um, kind of recreationally. I was uh, played basketball. I played soccer for a year um, in, um, in high school. I played lacrosse. I did that for a number of years. Started that in middle school, actually. Um, I swam. I wrestled. Um, played tennis. It was uh, a lot of things with bold and league recreationally. My dad was a big bowler, so he got us into that. Um, so yeah, fitness and, and sports in general was was a very very big thing. And then started taking like anatomy and physiology courses in high school, and then into college. Um, I, I remember kind of the uh, one of the big turning points for me was my senior year of high school. Um, one of the guys that uh, I had played baseball with on the school team. He was a year older than me. He went to to UNC and uh, he came back over the summer. And this dude was just like, just, you know, <laughs> thirty pounds heavier, like in in a, in a very muscularly built kind of way. Um, and I was like, "Yo, what what did, what are they feeding you over there?" And he's like, "I just had a lot of free time. Just started working out a whole lot." <laughs> um, and so that was kind of the that's what I remembered going into college. And I did I did have a lot of free time and. Um, kind of over the months, the, uh, the group of guys I went to the gym with were all very like, sort of looking to me and they're like, you know, all right, what are we doing today, coach? Like, what's the plan? And I was like, when was this my responsibility? But, <laughs> uh, I kind of stepped into that and embraced it. And I realized that like, oh, people actually get paid for doing this kind of thing. Um, so I changed my major, went more exercise and sports science. And, um, those were the classes that really started making sense to me. Didn't have to put a whole lot of effort um into studying um because i got my cheat sheet right here you know like oh like your your biceps connected up here you know and so like you got to use your body when taking the exam so that was very helpful um but it was a lot of fun I, I learned a lot of great information um one of the courses that i took was actually just a strictly uh, uh preparatory class for the certified personal training exam um, which I took in 2013, I think at this point. Um, so passed that certification. I started training at school um, at Carolina, and then um, started getting at some some other corporate jobs, and eventually led me to here. And that was kind of the whole the whole path that uh, wow. finished for me. Been like a of, life. Of branches there, but that's yeah, that's the yeah, main but. Line. It's a lifestyle, right? Yeah, really, from from the very, very beginning. Yeah, before you even knew it, you know? I feel like at that age where you really don't know, I don't know, it's cool to look back and be like, it was your passion your whole life, mm -hmm. and it comes full circle, and you're just, like, teaching people how to move now. It's super. That's the thing. They say, uh, you know, you kind of figure out a way that you can get paid for something you're good at. And, uh, you know, for me, that was fitness, and that was something that I had, not just myself, but I suppose like my, my parents and the people that I hung, hung around with, those are the ones that cultivated that 
that skill and that interest. And that's kind of led me to where I am now. Um, so it was a very, very natural progression, I suppose. Um, I mean. I'm curious how you got into weightlifting, like strongman stuff. Yeah. So uh, for those that do not know, I am a locally competitive strongman athlete. Um, this last uh, November, I suppose, was the, the first competition I won, first place in my weight class. Um, I have, I've got a couple third place finishes. So this is my first first place. So I was excited about that. That's awesome. um, but yeah, so for Strongman, I had um, I had been doing CrossFit for a number of years um, in 2016, I think, 2015, 16. Or so I started doing CrossFit um, just as a way uh, to kind of expand my, I don't know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that's just like, I, I really enjoy a physical challenge. Um, and so I just want to see if my body can do it. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just very interested in Olympic lifting. And at the time, CrossFit was a, a really easy way to get into that. Not something I had a lot of experience with. Um, so I started doing that for, for a couple of years. And then our... Uh, my coach at the gym, um, he also had a, I guess, a, I don't know, a partnered business, I suppose, a use of facility for strongman training. Uh, so it was more or less, there was just like some strongman guys in there on Saturday. I was like, oh, just let me like mess around. And uh, I was just started picking stuff up. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's like really different. Um, and then I, I did have a, a natural knack for it, which definitely helps. Um, mm -hmm. and so started training with them as just kind of a, another way to, to challenge myself. And, you know, they're like, they're like, wow, you should, uh, you should compete. You should, uh, there's a state tournament and I don't know, it was probably a few months out from that point. Um, and then I, I had competed in my first strongman competition, which was 2018's North Carolina strongest man. Uh, I finished fourth, uh, missed the podium by two points. Um, which was unfortunate, but yeah. I'm blast. It was it was a lot of fun. It was a huge fun training, you know, great community, um, and uh, I've I've loved it since. And I just I really like the variety of it, and it's something yeah. that uh, I don't have to be a gigantic individual. A lot of sports are very physically dominating, um, and you know, height was not a gift of mine, so. Being able to kind of still uh, be competitive just by weight class um, was really comforting, I suppose. Yeah, I just love how and it happened so recently. Like 2018 yeah. was not that long ago. It was not. So yeah. I was uh, really happy to do it. And it, it's, I want to say it's, it's not something that I can necessarily do for like decades, but, um, uh, and, you know, if I recover well and I don't, overtrain myself into the ground then I, I probably could there's a lot of masters athletes a lot of you know 50 even 60 year old people out there doing uh doing similar weights and I'm like you get it man you get it you take care of yourself you can do it for a long time that like literally inspires me too because like my stepdad he's in his mid 70s and he still competes in triathlons yeah and yeah. like he kicks my butt in the bike <laughs> <laughs> that's how I always feel too you know like um I was one of those people just kind of waiting for my prime to hit and I just feel like you know every every year I just I get a little bit more old man strength you know and it's just like as 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 a youth you're like oh you know 25 it's my prime but it's like you continue to train you continue to learn and you, you see the examples from these these people that have been competing for longer and then you can kind of get a lot of the uh the information from them and you, you keep getting better and you just you keep riding that prime for years to come. You know, I'd like to say when I'm, when I'm 50, 60 years old, I'll be hitting my prime. But, we'll, uh, I don't know, one day at a time here. 